Good afternoon, oil traders. It is still August 8th and it's 3.25 p.m. Eastern Time. So we're still just over half an hour away from the close here on the East Coast and North America. And unfortunately, it's just more of the same. So I'm not going to waste your time by regurgitating everything I've said for the past, well, more than a week now. Uh, basically, we're still stuck in the same range. Um, and uh, the speculation over what API may report today at 4.30 hasn't been enough to cause us to really deviate from that. So it's possible that uh, when the news comes out, at 4.30 today, 30 minutes after the close here on the East Coast, that we might see a significant move. My gut says that as per what's happened in the past few weeks, um, API might give us some volatility, but ultimately it's going to be EIA tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern that will actually get, give us the breakout from this range. Now, if that's going to be up or down, your guess is as good as mine. Um, my targets are unchanged, same as I've been saying for the past well over a week now. Um, so you can see them there displayed on the screen at the top right. But um, it's really just more wait and see at this point. We're closing at 49, we're probably going to hover there right into the close and uh, ultimately make a move at 4.30. Um, yeah, and we'll just wait and see I guess. So that's that. Um, if you have other ideas on how to play this, I'd love to hear it. You can hit me up down below on YouTube via the comments or on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, result, performance, etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow morning ahead of trading. And we can see what pans out from this API stuff and on speculation regarding EIA. Until then, good luck. Cheers.